I don't recognize you, but I sense that you're one of us. Who are you? The last of the Nightingale Sentinels, I'm afraid. I've defended the Sepulchre alone for what seems like an eternity. We were betrayed by one of our own kind. In fact, I'm to blame for what's happened here. I was blinded. Blinded by dark treachery masquerading as friendship. Perhaps if I had been more vigilant, then Mercer Frey wouldn't have lured me to my fate and stolen the skeleton key. I haven't heard that name in a long time. How do you know of me? The key! You have the skeleton key! I never thought I'd see it again. And Mercer Frey? Then, it's over, and my death wasn't in vain. I owe you a great deal, Nightingale. 
You've done the Guild a great deal, and although they may not show it, I'm certain they appreciate your sacrifices. My only regret is that you had to undertake this task alone. Carlyle? She's still alive? I feared she'd befallen the same fate, ending up a victim of Mercer's betrayal. Nothing would bring me more pride than to return the key, but I'm afraid it's impossible. From the moment I arrived here, I felt myself, well, dying. The Sepulchre isn't merely a temple or a vault to house the key. Within these walls is the Ebonair, a conduit to Nocturnal's realm of Everglow. When Mercer stole the key, that conduit closed, severely limiting our ties to her. I'm afraid so. I'm weakening, and I can feel myself slipping away. The years without restoration of my power have taken their toll. Whatever damage has been caused can only be corrected by following the Pilgrim's path to the Ebonair and replacing the key. Good luck, Nightingale. Wound, na test! Wound!
Oh my, what do we have here? It's been a number of years since I've set foot on your world. Or perhaps it's been moments one tends to lose track. So, once again, the key has been stolen, and a champion returns it to the Sepulchre. Now that the Ebonmere has been restored, you stand before me awaiting your accolades. A pat on your head, a kiss on your cheek. What you fail to realize is your actions were expected and represent nothing more than the fulfillment of your agreement. Don't mistake my tone for displeasure. After all, you've obediently performed your duties to the letter. But we both know this has little to do with honor and oaths and loyalty. It's about the reward, the prize. Fear not. You'll have your trinkets, your desire for power, your hunger for wealth. I bid you to drink deeply from the Ebonmere mortal, for this is where the Agent of Nocturnal is born. The oath has been struck, the die has been cast, and your fate awaits you in the Everglow. Farewell, Nightingale. See to it the key stays this time, won't you? I'm glad you were able to bring the key back safely. Nocturnal seemed quite pleased with your efforts. I wouldn't take that to heart. It's her way. Think of her as a scolding mother continually pushing you harder to be successful. Outwardly sounding angry, but silently content. I assure you, had she been displeased with you, we wouldn't be having this conversation. The circles at the base of the Ebonmere imbue you with powers befitting a Nightingale Agent. The Crescent Moon represents the Agent of Shadow, the Half Moon for the Agent of Subterfuge, and the Full Moon for the Agent of Strife. This is Nocturnal's way of maintaining balance. If you ever feel the need to change your abilities, you can return to the Sepulchre and step onto a different circle. Be warned that once you've chosen, you can't reselect for at least a day. Now, your life as a Nightingale begins. Should the need arise, you'll be summoned to the Sepulchre in order to defend it. The Guild has welcomed me back with open arms. I feel like a void in my life has finally been filled. I only hope that this isn't an ending to things, but actually the beginning. Why, perhaps the greatest crime spree Skyrim's ever known. There are pockets brimming with coin, and coffers overflowing with riches ripe for the picking. We may be nightingales, but in our hearts we're still thieves, and we're damn good at what we do. Choose your path, and your journey will be complete. Carlyle? Carlos! I feared I would never see you again. I was afraid you'd become like the others. If it were not for the actions of this Nightingale, your fears would have come true. She honors us all. What will you do now, my love? Nocturnal calls me to the Everglow. My contract has been fulfilled. Will I ever see you again? When your debt to Nocturnal has been paid, we'll embrace once again. Farewell, Gallus. Eyes open. Walk with the shadows. Goodbye, Carlyle. Yes, Nightingale? What is it? Farewell. Eyes open, and walk with the shadows.
Maybe some other time I'll reveal your destiny. Hmm? Tea token, you say? Let me see. Oh, goodness me. You're a friend of Gabriella's, then. Well, I guess we both know why you're here. Hmm. Well, yes, yes, I, I surely can. It, it's not something I do lightly, mind you, and it's, it's not as specific as you might want, but yes, I, I will do this for you. Please, relax. Free your mind. Yes, that's it. There's a cave. No, not a cave. A home. A, a place you feel secure. You will find safety there. Sanctuary. I see snow. Lit by the star of dawn. And you are not alone. There are others. A child of night. A stalker of the sands. Oh, but before you are family, there will be blood. Such blood. Wait, there's something else. A potential for adventure and wealth. It is a ruin, ripe for the plunder. Deep wood. Read out, far to the northwest, through there is Hag's End, the last resting place of an assassin of old, a dark brother who bequeaths his ancient earthly possessions to you. No, no, that is all. Now, now, please... I find myself very weary all of a sudden. Hey, good to see you. Ha, 
It's good to see you in one piece, lass. Ha! <laughs> it's good to see you in one piece, lass. I just wanted to give you a proper thank you for everything you've done. The guild is back on its feet again, and on its way to a prosperous future. What's become of the skeleton key? That's it then. After all those years of helplessly watching the guild decline. But enough of that. I'm confident that with you in charge, we'll soon have more gold than we could possibly spend. I'll be down here, trying to coordinate everything with Delvin and Vex, to make sure the coin keeps flowing and no one skims. If you still feel like doing some jobs, I'm sure Delvin and Vex have more than their fair share to give out. Either way, it's been a pleasure, my friend. Here's to the future of the Guild. May it last another thousand years. What do you think, my dear? Pull up a seat. Absolutely. Have a drink. When you're in your grave. Well, well. I was looking for this little beauty. If you happen to cross any other unusual trinkets like this, be sure to bring them to me. I promise it'll be worth the effort. By the eight, you actually got your hands on it. This alone is worth more than some oh, thieves earn in a lifetime. Pretty angry, actually. Can't believe I botched the Golden Glow job. It should have been like stealing a sweet roll from a baby. Well, I see your wounds have healed, but your pride still needs some time. If you don't watch it, I may actually start to respect you. Job well done. Find me if you're ever looking for some extra coin. Well, you done or what? All right, well, but if you get arrested, don't blame it on me. But that last shipment of scuba. Didn't muck it up, I hear. Years. Good. Here's your share. Ah, just got lucky is all. You Lucky's think you're finished? I've got plenty else. more where that came from. just writes itself. Well, if you like, I'll be happy to take over the operation for you. Sorry, lass. Take the I've source got off your hands. To do. And we'll lose out just time. when the going is getting good? No thanks. Welcome to the cozy little family. I'm one of the lookouts for the guild. I watch Delvin's back. Arnbjorn is safe, and for that you have my thanks. Excellent. Once again, you've proven yourself a born assassin. Tell you what, why don't you hold on to Shadowmere a while longer? He's a fine steed, and hasn't been ridden nearly as much as he should lately. And now that this Cicero mess has been mopped up, we can get back to the matter at hand, hmm? There's just one more target before we strike out at the Emperor. Have you by chance heard of the Gourmet? Read his cookbook? It's become quite a phenomenon. The Gourmet is scheduled to cook for the Emperor at a special dinner. You'll kill him, steal his writ of passage, and assume the role of Master Chef. Festus has been spearheading this part of the assassination plan. He's close to uncovering the identity of the Gourmet. You should report to him.
Right then. Still here. I hope the elf didn't give you too much trouble. I once got set on fire by a sorcerer. Nasty business, that. But I digress. Here's your payment. Hmm. Well, that's sure to throw a branch into Falkreath's well oiled political machine. Here's your payment. Well earned, as always. Hmm. Yes. Yes, I believe you are. Very well, then. You need to find and kill Safia, the captain of the pirate ship Red Wave. The ship travels the northern coast and sometimes isn't even in Skyrim at all. So you'll have to be patient. Good luck. Good luck. And try not to get yourself killed. Sister. There you are. Took your sweet time dealing with Cicero, eh? The shadow scales are now let's all get but down forgotten. to business. Astrid told tradition. you about the gourmet, From I hope. Time. Quite so. But first, you'll need to learn who he is. Assuming, of course, that the gourmet actually is a he. Could be a woman, for all we know. You know, maybe I was wrong about you after all. Anyone who's smart enough to shut up and listen can't be all bad. In my, uh, investigations, I came upon this. It's a copy of the Gourmet's cookbook. Uh, <laughs> but not just any copy. It's signed, you see. Seems to be a message from the Gourmet to one Anton Varan. I've tracked Varan to the keep in Markov. It would seem he's the cook. I believe so. Therefore, you are to obtain that information from Varan. Who the Gourmet really is and where he can be found. Oh, and when you're done with Varan, kill him. Loose ends and all that. Next, you'll have to... Are you still paying attention? Huh. As I was saying, you'll need to kill the Gourmet, of course. But what's more, you need to get his writ of passage so you can take his place. Oh, and if you can, hide his body. The longer it takes for anyone else to determine his real identity, the better. Now off with you. Remember, the Markarth Keep. That's where you'll find Anton Varan. Probably cooking up all of the gourmet's recipes, passing them off as his own.
I help my mother Arab with the hunt. We bring much meat and skins to the stronghold. We honor the bravest fighters, but I have seen many types of bravery in my travels. This stronghold respects strength Orgok's and strength alone. Wife. He knows my beauty should be praised. Before it's too late. still doing here let me guess you're here for the treasure aren't you just like all the others the name's Katria I am was an adventurer raided ruins like this for nigh on 20 years I was on the trail of something big it led me here and I didn't make it Oh, you read the book, didn't you? The Ethereum Wars? That was my theory, you know. My research, my life's work, all of it lost. Stolen by my own damn apprentice. That's how I ended up here. I can't rest. Not until I find the forge. Until I can prove that it was my discovery. Mine, not his. But it's hopeless. I died here, just like all the others. Turn back. Turn back before you become the next victim. Hmm, maybe so. Then again, I thought I could too. I'm not going to talk you out of it, am I? I know. I know. I was just like you once. Well, if you want to reach the summit, you're going to need some help. You... Want a hand? All right, lead on then. Hold! Not yet! Hold! Now!
Fus, Roda. You know what this is? See the get it wrong and well, you've seen what happened when I tried it. It is real. Let me see it. Huh. Look, on the edge here. This has been cut, precisely cut. 
If you had another piece about the same size, it would... it would snap right in. I saw a drawing of this once. This shard, it's... it's part of a key. A key made of pure ethereum. The key to the forge. We have to find the other pieces, of course. There should be... hmm... three more. One for each of the four cities that worked on the forge. I had a map in my journal. That's where we should start. Really? Well, now that makes things easier. We still have to find the forge itself. I had a lead on that too. Ah, there's so much to do. I'm going to head out and start tracking things down. We'll meet again. I'm sure of it. For the first time in a long while, I think I... We may actually be able to do this. And... And I owe it all to you. Thank you. That's your best, huh? Always another big meal to cook, figures. Move it, get to work, get to work! Don't mind the dogs, they get anxious when they haven't had dinner. Yes, yes, for the hundredth time. I am a Breton. I was born in High Rock, and then I came here. I am not a Richman. Who are you? What do you want? The... the gourmet? Never. I don't know what led you here, but nothing will betray my trust. I'll take the secret of the Gourmet's identity to my grave. The Dark Brotherhood? Now, now, wait a minute. Let's not get hasty. I mean, surely my friend wouldn't want me to endanger my own life, right? Look, his name is Balagog Gronolobe. He's an orc. The Gourmet's an orc. He's staying at the Night Gate Inn. That's all I know. Now, now you'll let me go. Right? So... We're done? I have to work, or Anton will rip my head off. Help! Oh. help! Somebody help!
need to ask you to stop. Good. Glad we straightened that out. First you, then all of the Reach! Cleared out, I guess. Claim what is rightfully ours. Ah! It's what you want, huh? Oh! 
Hold. Now cast. Okay. Yeah. Time to finish this. Uh. Yeah. No. Ah. Never should have come here. What is rightfully ours?
did you hear something? Someone there. Boost!
I'm going to find whoever did this. What are you doing that for? Whatever it is, I'm sure I can't be of help. Yes, well, perhaps someone else in the village can assist you. Please, you're starting to frighten me.
did it. And you brought the shards. You made it. And you brought the shards. Look at the device here. The gear in the center is just about the right size. Try putting the shards in and we'll see what happens. Don't make Get me tell you again. Here. Get out of here. Someone do something. Oh. 